viewers, very warm welcome to this new uh, session on SAP Cloud Integration Suite. So today we are going to talk about simulation. How do we actually simulate our integration flow? So let me just quickly go to my next slide. Okay, so what exactly is simulation? So guys, let's take a scenario when you have a huge I flow, and without deploying it, in case if you want to test the feature, in case if you want to validate whatever you have built is correct or not, in that particular case we use simulation. Okay. So now again, I think this is a theoretical part. I've just given it uh, some kind of snapshot, but don't worry about it. We are going to just now go into system and see how it actually uh, works out. Now, before I go, so now really I want to just show you a few important terminology which you should have in your mind. Okay, so when I say the word start point, add end point, add simulation, end port, run simulation, clear simulation, message envelope. Again, I think all, all these are some kind of an important part of overall the simulation feature as such. Okay. So now, again, let's just quickly go into system and see how, how does it actually works out. So let me just quickly go into system. Again, let me go. Yeah. So now this is one of my integration flow. And now, now let's say if I have built it out, I have like few, uh, might be a small features where I have used, might be a script, a content modifier, a mapping, a converter, and whatnot. Again, so this is really a working integration flow. Now, let's say in case if I want to validate between the two points, how can I do that part? But important question here is before, in case if I wanted to validate two uh, between two points, I need some kind of input also. So again, SAP also given that provision of that particular part. So how does it work out? So now let's say uh, here you have this two important feature for simulation, which is like a run simulation, clear simulation. You have some kind of a help. I'm going to talk about in detail about the self help, which is a very, very important part. Now here, if I just go, if you select on this line, okay, so you see it, it gets dotted, little dark in here. I'll, I'll right click on this and you will have this option of a start simulation or simulation endpoint. So first of all, definitely we need to have a start. Then that's how we'll be able to plan end. Now here, I'll just put simulation start point until here I want to validate it out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to choose end here. Okay. So first is set the point. So once point is done, I want to give up my input. Now let's say if I click onto this, I need a header properties body. And even you can just upload it now let, uh, from, from a local file system. In case if you want to define any kind of specific header property, you can just easily click on that and you will be able to actually define it out. So in this case, I'll just keep it simple. I'm just trying to give some kind of a complete uh, content only. So I'm just going to ch uh, choose here, click on OK. Once I choose that particular part, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on Run Simulation. Now you will see that if you have developed your iFlow and just you want to simply test it without getting an input with help of the simulation, how easy it will be for you. Now you will see some kind of a message envelope or package uh, between uh, two different different uh, palette options or your different different CPI uh, features. Okay, so now you see that between this particular point of a groovy script to uh, your content modifier, what exactly the payload here. Okay, so we can actually see your body. Now, similarly, what you can do here is you will be able to see a different, different point. Now, let's say I'm, I'm interested in might be uh, after your mapping, how does it look like? So I can just click on this particular part. So here again, I have your headers, properties, body, and here you will be able to actually see your kind of a payload. Now again, this is a very, very helpful feature, guys, honestly. Okay. In case if you start using it out, instead of again sending or asking someone from sender, send me the payload and I'm going to use it to test it out, the days are gone. Okay. So now you can use the simulation feature. Now, uh, again, some people ask me question that Sam, how does it different from uh, the mapping? Again, guys, whatever the simulation feature the SAP is given for mapping, that is just to validate your mapping part because mapping is kind of a heart of your SAP uh, cloud integration suite. Now, the next topic here is uh, now once you have tested it out, okay, everything is working fine. Now, what next? Now, let's in case if you want to come out of it or close this, what, what you need to do it here. So in case if you need to close this, you can just click on this clear uh, simulations. What it will do is it will actually clear it out everything. Okay. Now what you can uh, uh, do is uh, if you, if you want to read more about it. Okay. 
uh, so again, I think I'll just uh, suggest you always read this kind of a self-help right? because my idea is always just to make sure that people get uh, get this kind of a self-help in case of the new feature comes into this cloud integration too. So you should be able to pick it out. Now, what I can do here is I can just quickly click on the self button. What will happen is it will take you specific to the topic in, in the documentation. Now, let's say if I just come here into this particular page, it says very clearly, let's give you a very small definition. Okay, and I really love to read this specific line. It says the simulation features allow you to test an integration flow or a subset and see if you can get desired out of them even before you deploy the integration flow. This same thing what I said initially. So based on the simulation result, you can decide whether to continue and deploy the integration flow or make some changes to it. Again, here it, it talks about the benefits of it. Okay. So again, I think it's it's very important you you just go through it because it says in a uh, in a benefit you can simulate dependencies and identify issues and early state, and which is actually a fair thing. Now here I think there are a few things always that you all always you should look for that what is supported what is not supported. It says very clearly here HTTP calls can't be simulated for the script flow step. Okay, so here again SAP has given very very clear outline what is supported what is not supported and i think we should always come here to validate this part out okay that's why i always stress this lot on the self-help because end of the day this product is from sap okay and in cloud every one month two months you have a new feature okay and and it's always uh, i think good idea to keep yourself updated and you should know where exactly are the points where you should get this kind of information now again in case if you want to configure this simulation again they have also given the steps here again everything is straight forward the same thing only but you have little more information as such here okay some important points and and things again let's say one of the point here is simulation of looping process call with maximum number of iteration more than 10 is not supported so if you have any kind of a looping call where you are where you are, you are using a loop in that particular case, uh, iterations more than 10 is not supported as such. So this is one part of it. So yeah, uh, again, uh, in case if you want to try this particular feature out, do try it out in case of any kind of question, uh, feel free to reach out to me also. Okay, again, I think there is a link. Again, this link points to the same self-help also. So again, I just want to very clearly put what is simulation how to use the simulation and what exactly is the documentation where you can actually uh, look uh, into it. So yeah, again guys, this is pretty much it from our side. Thank you so much.